Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I love to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreations, and thrift flips on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So I'm going to hop right into project number one, but I'm going to tell you that I got my inspiration from six kids in a glue gun. That's Amanda. So she had this scarecrow. I also had this thing on hand. It's pretty janky. So I'm going to take it apart and make this a little better. <laughs> well, doesn't seem like it gets a little better to me. It seems like it got a little scary, but <laughs> so the first thing I do is I take this fabric and I just kind of rip it down to the size that I'm going to need here. And I made it a little extra big because I'm not going to be mod podging this or anything like that. I want to be able to tie this around um, the entire jar or the fake jar. <laughs> and I'm using twine here to do that. Um, but before I do that, I was thinking of using this felt paper and then covering it like this, but I actually ended up changing my mind. I tried this coffee colored and I didn't like it. So, but I, I ended up leaving the back like that coffee color. Now I'm going to use some glue stick and some spray adhesive on the front of this. And I'm using the glue stick just so I can get um, a good hold and then a little bit of the spray adhesive so I can get a right now hold. And then after that, I noticed that this paint just, I don't know, it just did not want to dry. It's like it kept seeping out. <laughs> um, and then I used my X-Acto knife after I let it sit for a while and cut that out. Then we're going to put this fabric on top and tie her down. Now you guys, Amanda did hers way differently and I will go ahead and link that in the description box below so you guys can head over to her channel and watch um, how she created hers. It's super amazing. It's beautiful. Hers turns out really good. Mine's kind of ugly. <laughs> but I was just there for the inspiration and also had this on hand. So I found this at the Dollar Tree in their like little plus section. And I'm going to use this um, little, what is that, a candy corn out of that little pack and then I just cut a few pieces of the black pieces to kind of make it look like the nose has like those little stitches or whatever those are <laughs> I think they're stitches but mine kind of I don't know you'll just have to tell me what you guys think about this one when we are when I am all finished here so that's gonna be the nose and then I took these two circle wood slices and I'm going to create some eyes with it. But let me tell you guys, I have some Waverly chalk paint and snow. And I had a wonderful subscriber send this to me along with this um, beautiful decor that it did come a little broken in the box. You know, that's just how it is sometimes. And I went ahead and fixed it right back up. But she made me those two things. And I just have to give her a shout out and say thank you so, so much. I really loved my gifts. And I'm so grateful you found me some chalk paint and snow and that your store actually has all the Waverly paints. I can't even order them online at all in my area. So here we are. I start out with this blue pool color with the Waverly chalk paint, but I wasn't really feeling it. I feel like the eyes just didn't go with the theme. I don't know. I just didn't care for it. So later I do um, trade that out, or trade that out, paint them out with a orange colored eyes instead. So now I'm just using this um, stuff that you get from the Dollar Tree, like put it in your little gift bags. And I'm going to use that for the hair here, and I just use a few strands like this. Okay, now this is where I feel like my scarecrow kind of went ugly. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the mouth or what, but I don't know. I was trying to do a mouth with the rope. I wasn't sure like what kind of mouth to use. But then um, I added these little 
fake stitches with some black twine. I don't know. Maybe you guys will love it. I just thought it was really ugly and scary, like the ugly scarecrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll have to let me know if you like this or not. Hers does not look ugly like mine did, though. <laughs> I will tell you that. Oh, I think it's so ugly. I don't know. Maybe it's just the nose is too big. I, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. And then I did use that sunflower. So today's collaboration is recreation inspiration. We get together and we recreate other crafters DIYs. So the host is six kids in a glue gun and Lady Red Crafting and Crafty Art Shack. I will have all these ladies linked down in my description box along with the playlist of other crafters that you can watch recreate inspiration as well. All right, so project number two, I got my inspiration from Mama Can Make It. I really, really loved her little scarecrows and she actually used foam dice from the Dollar Tree, but I just had these wood dice on hand. I did not have the um, little dice. So you will have to go and check out hers. They are so adorable. And of course she does hers a little different than mine. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint two of these. And I just use some snow in the Waverly. Oops, sorry. I always forget to turn that off. Let me, um turn that off okay so I used the snow and Waverly and then I just mixed it with the beige paint to kind of get like a like a tanner paint and then I'm using my Tombow markers to make a face and that pink just wasn't showing up for me so grabbed a different color and then I'm going to do um, the orange for the nose on both of them I gave them a little mouth with some stitches and then I'll just use some stitches on the nose and then I will make some like teardrop kind of like shape eyes like kind of slanted off to the side like that and then that one I gave little um, eyelashes and then this one I don't do any eyelashes on it they're super adorables and then I try to use my Posca pens I don't know I feel like when other people use Posca pens they get like a bright white but mine never are bright white they're always like look a little watery so I don't know maybe I need to do something like shake it more or something I'm not sure but I have these burlap um, stickers and some little hats from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going to use that leftover raffia that was on that first scarecrow that had like no hair <laughs> I just trimmed it off and then trimmed it in half and I used all of it from that first um, craft that I took off. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this cute little hat to the top and then trim its hair down. And this little guy is done. He's super dorbs. I love him. Now for the girls, I'm going to use this um, like decorative shredding stuff that you put in your gift baskets. It also come from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just doing little strips like so all the way across the top of the head. And then I did some little pieces to give her some like bangs. I think it looks adorable. Hmm, super cute. And then these are like little flower burlap flowers. Um, they have little stickers on them but I'm not using the sticker part. And that's it for this DIY, you guys. These ones are my favorites today. They are so, so stinking cute. Well, one of my favorites. <laughs> I just love them. Look at how adorable she is. Aw, and I love how I did the hair. All right, so project number three is my friend Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing. I absolutely loved her scarecrow and had to recreate my own. So I have this little board from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to flip it so the holes are at the bottom. And then this piece is from that first DIY as well. And I'm going to go ahead and use some black in the apple barrel paint um, to try to get this painted. And I don't paint it perfect because I did want it to be a little rustic looking so you can still see a little bit from behind. So before I glue everything down, I'm also going to be using this for some hair. I'm really loving this for scarecrow hair instead of the like raffia. I don't know. I just, I, I really just loved it and I had a bunch of it on hand. 
So I thought I would use it up. And I'm doing that on both sides. And then um, I had an afterthought to come back in and do some bangs. Since this is going to be a girl one. So here I am collecting them together. And then after I get a bunch collected, I'm going to just trim those in like half. And then I go ahead and give it some bangs like this and just glue it down a few pieces at a time instead of a big blob of a bunch because I wanted to be able to make sure that that stick can still um, be down without being like too, too bulky. Um, and then that's it for the bangs. Super easy. And then we'll just do some hot glue across the top and put this down. Love it. Now I'm going to use one of those burlap flowers, like so, over that piece that already had a bunch of glue. And then these cute little sunflowers came from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed like three packs of them, and I think I've used almost all of them already, especially throughout most of this DIY. But I had to add some sunflowers here. And then the next thing we are going to do is grab some fabric. I have this leftover fabric um, from a gnome that I had made. It, it was a tomato cage gnome. It's like one of my most watched videos on YouTube. It's when I first started YouTube and I wasn't really like doing YouTube. It was just something I had shared and it went... It, it got a lot of views within a short amount of time, so, and I didn't really post much after that, just a few things, but then I really got into the YouTube crafting world, and I'm glad I did because I've met a lot of wonderful people, you guys. So, now I'm using this little jute cord braided trim. I got that from Tiamu, and then um, on Sarah's, she did hers a lot different than mine. So you will definitely have to go check out Sarah's. Um, but this is supposed to be like a dress here. Super cute. And then these are like the little straps to hold the dress. And then um, this is going to be like a little pocket on the dress. So adorable. Now you guys, please, please, please watch the playlist and go and watch the videos of the other crafters that I have linked, that I have recreated, because you will get lots and lots of inspiration from all of them because they're all absolutely amazing. Okay, we got the pocket in place and then I decided I needed to trim this down and I was having a little bit of a hard time at first because I had already put the hat pieces on, um, but I eventually get that cut out pretty good. And then I'm using the rest of the sunflowers in the pocket. And then I will just end the end of the dress with a little bit of this trim here. She turns out super, super beautiful. Love it. Okay, so I'm using this cardstock paper and I just made me like a little teardrop eye um, that I cut out. The nose was from the first DIY. I decided to use it on this one just to keep things simple. And I'm going to make the face with cardstock and now I'm just going to draw a little smiley kind of face. <laughs> And then now I'm just cutting up some eyelashes because she needs some cute little eyelashes, of course. Can't have a girl without some eyelashes, right? Even though I don't really have very good eyelashes on my own self. <laughs> and I don't really, I don't ever wear makeup, so. <laughs> but I went ahead and made this cute girl some eyelashes. I used to actually have really long eyelashes when I was younger, but I used one of those eyelash curlers once and it like broke off my eyelashes. So I was pretty bummed about that, but I don't really wear makeup anymore now that I'm older. Isn't she adorable? I just love her. I think she's super, super cute. And that is going to be it for this one. And don't worry guys, you will see more at the final reveal. So project number four is Dandy Soap DIY. 
Um, I'm kind of new to her channel right now, and I don't even know her name, so I will be watching lots more of her things. But she did a big wood slice um, scarecrow. I'm going to do two little ones instead. So I appreciate the inspiration, and I think think her name might be Elizabeth if I can remember, but I'm not exactly sure 100%. Um, I'm just going off what I think I remember. But hers turned out super cute. And she had one of those big, big wood slices. I'm assuming probably from like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. But hers was so adorable. You guys will have to go watch hers and check hers out. I'm just doing little mini versions because I'm in love making I'm in love making these little scarecrows. They are just so cute. So now I'm just using my Tombow markers again, but before I did that, I used that mixture of paint that I created earlier that I made with the dice ones, like the little wood dice. I'm just using that same paint I have mixed up. Excuse me. And then I'm making making like the same kind of faces just because I love making these faces. You guys, I actually made a giant, well not a giant one, but like a porch leaner. One has a snowman on one side and one has a scarecrow. If you guys would like to watch that video that I made a few years ago, I will link that down in the comments or the description box excuse me as well so you guys can check out that i actually made that with real wood and stained it and all that stuff so you'll have to check it out now i'm almost done making these adorable little faces again and i did the girl also with some little eyelashes now i'm used that like i said that posca pen and i'm just not getting white at all it doesn't matter if it's on black or any colors it's just not coming out white. It comes out like a cloudy color, like a cloudy white. So I'm trying to use my snow paint here just to, um, it's the Waverly Snow White paint. And I got a little bit wider eyes here and I'm liking that a lot, lot better. Okay, so on the guy, on this one, I have this colorful raffia. I don't have any of just like the tan raffia. I do have a bunch of this, so I decided to give him some orange hair instead of like the um, like little tan raffia. And that's all I'm doing for the boy's hair on this one. And to make it easier, I decided to just tie it up in the middle like this a couple times, make a knot, and then trim off all the little snagglies there at the end. And then I'm going to um glue that on his head now she did not do this color on hers so you will definitely have to go check out her big one and i believe she made her own hat out of trashes like your leftover ribbons so i thought that was super amazing so you will definitely have to go check out how she made her hat as well for her little um scarecrow i just loved it you guys, I thought about maybe adding some magnets to this, but then I was like, oh, the hats are like sticking out in the way. And I really didn't want to cut up the hats or anything. So give me some ideas maybe down in the comments of what you would do with these little guys. Maybe add like a hanger or something for like a tree or something. I don't know. <laughs> maybe like make a little scarecrow ornament tree or something next year. I don't know. And then I'm continuing using this for the girl's hair. I'm just loving this idea here. I absolutely just love it. And I hope you guys are loving all these DIYs that I'm recreating that I saw all my friends make. Look at this. Super cute. Now I am using the 3-in-1 tack glue and hot glue at the same time just so I get a good hold and a now hold. And then I'm going to continue. This time I tried to cut off some of the bottom of this so it would lay a little flat like this. And then I'm going to add some sunflowers to her as well like I did on the guy one. You guys, these are also my little favorite ones. I just, I'm loving them. They're super, super cute. What do you guys think? You'll have to let me know which project today was your favorite one. 
I know which ones are my favorite ones. Adorbs. Okay, you guys, project number five. I like to leave you guys with inspiration that I make from myself. Um, I looked up lots of pizza pan um, crafts for scarecrows, and that most of them were faces. So I thought I'd do a different spin here instead of faces. And I mean, I scrolled through Pinterest, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 minutes. And there was lots of pizza pan scarecrow faces, like with clothespins and without clothespins. And they, I just wanted to try to make something different. So I'm using this cardstock paper here and tracing out the pizza pan little piece that come with the pizza pan, if that makes sense, <laughs> like the little paper, and to make a full circle so we can go ahead and hide the back. Now before I glue it down, I'm using my sander to sand that down, and then I'm going to use, well you saw the rest of the glue stick fall out there, this is all I got left on this one. So I am going to use the rest of it and it wasn't quite enough so I used a little bit of spray adhesive and I probably should have let that spray adhesive dry a little bit because it did wrinkle a little bit but you really can't see it at all because what I do actually hides it in the end so it's not that big of a deal. But now I've decided to go around the entire pizza pan because it was awful shiny for me and wasn't giving me the fall vibes. So I decided to do that and then use the Spanish moss and this moss made a ginormous mess which I show you in the video of how easy it is to clean up this giant mess as soon as I'm done. So I just go around the entire edging. See the mess? Ah, look at that. So I just scoop it all into one pile and then I try to scoop as much as I can back into the jar. And then I'm thanking the Lord for this cute little mini vacuum because it makes crafting so, so easy. It just like gets everything right up right away. And then you guys, I like to clean my surface when I'm done with some alcohol. And look, it makes a dirty little mess, but that's okay because you know that moss is real moss. So it has the earth dirt in it a little bit. So now I'm just cleaning that up and it takes me no time to clean my surface area, you guys. And I like to do one little, did one little last swipe just to get off all that dirt. Super, super easy. Now here we go. Now I have a little piece of this garland left. It wasn't quite enough, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. And I just go ahead and glue it down and then I take a little bit of like I hold it with my finger and glue it down. And now I have this cute little piece from the Dollar Tree you guys. I decided to leave it alone and not modify it except for I'm just going to glue it together. And this has glitter you guys so I'm trying to get outside of the box and just embrace the glitter even though glitter is not my favorite thing. But this might be somebody else's favorite thing. So, and if I want to um, sell these in the future, once I get enough like stock going, I'm going to start doing craft fairs and um, also bring stuff to my consignment shops and stuff like that to sell my crafts. But I want to get a good stock up first. So look at how adorable this is. Now I went around this whole little thing with that Tim Holtz um, wood stain is what it's called and I went around the entire thing and the pumpkins. Now I'm just going to glue this down like so with some hot glue here. Super cute and then these little pumpkins they're like chipboard pumpkins. I don't remember where those came from I'm sorry. But the pizza pan and stuff came from the Dollar Tree and so did this little scarecrow that says Happy Harvest. And then my sunflowers come from Tiamu and I'm just going to glue a bunch of sunflowers down to this cute little um, project here. I hope you guys are loving this inspiration that I am leaving with you with and maybe you will recreate this one day in your future. I am absolutely loving it you guys. 
I think this is one of my favorites as well, even though it has a little bit of tiny glitter on it. I was thinking, I don't know how I could even get that glitter off. I thought about painting over it, but then you know what? I decided just to leave it alone because somebody else may actually love this. All right, guys, I want to say thank you to the hosts and the co-hosts. Don't forget to watch the playlist of all the other crafters in my description box today. And also all the links that I'll be leaving. Come back to those, you guys. You'll, be, you'll have lots of inspiration. So here I'm leaving you now with the final reveal of everything together. My scary, scary looking ugly scarecrow. My cute ones. Adorables. Yep, yep. So, so cute. My little happy harvest, little pizza stand. I just have it on a plate holder and this adorable little scarecrow in a dress. I hope you guys enjoyed my projects today. I want to say thank you for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can find me on Instagram. I also have two. Sunflower Tasha DIYs is my personal account and then Sunflower Tasha DIYs gallery is where I just post pictures of the things I make on YouTube. Bye guys.